What's going on everybody, it's Q here from Retro Q Gaming and a blow has been dealt to a very specific niche collection of gamers out there. Now what collection crossover niche is that? Well, it is PC VR gamers who also don't like social media, aka Facebook. Now, you might be wondering what's the deal with that, how do these things cross over, what's the deal, is it to do with the Xbox Series L and Mixer shutting down? No, it's not. So, Oculus, the company that makes Oculus Rift, the VR headset, one of the more popular VR headsets out there, it's not the best one, but it is more affordable and the quality and all is pretty decent, and it's it's a pretty popular one, it was the, the pretty much the de facto one for the longest time until the Valve Index came in and completely raffle stomped it. Now, when it comes to Oculus, you might remember a few years back, they were actually bought by Facebook. Now, everyone, of course, has concerns about this whole thing, just like when any major company buys or sells or trades a, a property or an IP or an account system or anything like that. A great example of that is when the Xbox Series L was kind of rumored, if you will, to have Facebook integration because of Mixer shutting down and transferring everything over to Facebook gaming. But that's a whole other story. Now, in this one, what we're looking at here is the dreaded news has happened. The dreaded announcement has happened. The dreaded change has happened. And what is that one? Well, it is going to eventually, and sooner rather than later for some people, going to require, 100% require, you to log into your Oculus Rift store slash account with a Facebook email or a Facebook account rather. Now, how does this affect everything? Well, let me give you a quick example. As someone who has no Facebook account, has no plans to ever create a Facebook account, and doesn't want to create a Facebook account and sees no merit or use of creating a Facebook account, essentially, that will eventually screw me. Now, what are we talking about here anyway? Do we need some specifics? We need some time frames. We need some dates. We need some whatever it is. So it turns out that October 2020 is the first marker of all of this. Come October 2020, any new users and new people logging into uh, an Oculus Rift or logging into Oculus in general will need to do so with a Facebook account. So remember, October 2020 is just for new users. If you already have an Oculus account that is not linked and paired with a Facebook account, like me, for example, I have until at some point in 2023, then the functionality and features and whatnot will not be supported and you will not be able to log in to your Facebook or to your Oculus without a registered and linked combined Facebook account. So essentially, this would completely screw me down the line. Now, this is very, I would, I guess the, the correct term might be worrisome. This is always a, a very real possibility, like I mentioned, when a big company buys out a smaller developer or buys out a service or a product or something like that. They may force new restrictions and new everything on you. And when it comes to this, this is essentially, well, I mean, we'll get around it with mods and whatnot. This is the PC gaming community after all. But officially, this is going to render my Oculus Rift completely useless several years from now. Of course, by then I will have a Valve Index, so it's not really a massive loss in that way. But, hmm, who knows, maybe there's some stuff on the Oculus Store that I won't be able to play properly on my Index but I will have proper top tier best version access of Half-Life Alex, so that's really all that matters. But the point is that something like this can shut people out and it shuts me out, for example. And while yes, it is very easy and very simple and of course free to make a Facebook account to do so, I don't want to. I, of course, I don't want to be locked out of my hardware, but I also don't want to give all my big information and all this other fancy crap to this company. Although I technically arguably already have, considering I have a bare bones, bare minimum Oculus account. 
but I don't get all these emails through my Oculus account from Facebook that do you know this person or would you like to play this Farmville or whatever it is. I don't need to worry about any of that with Oculus. So all I know is I have about three more years or so, give or take. There's no exact time in 2023 when it's going to happen just yet. But I may as well get as much VR gaming in as possible. Until Facebook lock me out of my hardware, officially at least anyway, that I've already paid for. Good thing I've never spent any money on the Oculus Store. All the games I did get on there were free and came with it. And the only other VR game, well, the only other major VR games that I have bought were on Steam.